Hello there. This is a short video describing how attendance taking works at youhear.org. To begin, youhear works with two parts, the website and the app. You as a group leader needing to take attendance will use the website to set up all of your attendance needs. You'll also always find your attendance records here all organized and ready to go. Your participants, on the other hand, use the app on their own phones to check in for attendance. So when running, you as the group leader really have no use for the app, and likewise, your participants have no use for the website. We find keeping things separate like this allows us to have a robust privacy policy. In particular, we're glad your participants do not have to make an account on our website, which all told is just another website with another password and another login and so on. We're always concerned about the privacy of your participants. We find it easiest simply not to ask them for any extra information that's not needed for attendance. Okay, so let's get on with setting up attendance. Right after logging in for the first time, you'll be greeted with this screen. As promised, we don't ask you for any more personal information either past your login email, as we're also concerned about your privacy. Since most of our users make a map-based check-in, we'll show you how that works now. To start, click the blue Actions button and select the very first option, Create a Map-Based Check-in. When you do so, you'll see a new page with a map on it and a few other fill-ins that we'll talk about now. First is the class code. This is a short bit of text that will organize your attendance information on the site. Think of it like a folder you might have on your computer for your documents. You'll also need to give this class code to your participants so check-ins from the app can be routed properly. This code will come up again in a sec. You'll also need to tell you here about your local time so check-in times can be enforced at your locality if needed. You'll also see a map that you can use to set the check-in location for your participants. Scrolling down a bit on the same page, you can see that indeed, it is possible to pan and zoom the map to great detail to pinpoint your check-in location, typically down to about the level of, the, of a building. Also in this case, we flick the blue button down here that allows us to set time ranges for accepting check-ins. So here, for example, we're allowing check-ins from Monday, on Mondays from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. As you work with this page, you'll see a list of valid check-in times appear here. And when you're all done, just click Save. And in this particular case, your participants must be in this location on Monday from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. in order to check in successfully. When done, you'll be back to this main screen again, but you'll notice that your check-in event now appears here. And there's two more things you need to do to be ready for attendance. First one is set allow new enrolls to yes and set the attendance mode to normal. That's what I've done here. There's a couple more setup steps, but in the long run, it gives you a little bit of control over students enrolling in your check-in event and even if they're allowed to check in. Next, you need to get your participants involved. Your participants need to download the app as each uses this on their own phone to check in. When the app runs for the first time, it'll ask them for their name, which is used to build your attendance roster back in your account at the website. Notice that data privacy information is embedded right into the app so we're always clear about that. The person will next be greeted with the main set of you here buttons. The first thing they have to do is enroll in your attendance event by that class code mentioned above. They tap the blue enroll button, they'll see this. And you can see where your class code that we called my check-in can be tapped in and is used to connect this app to your check-in event. And your participants only need to enroll like this one time. Next, they'll be back to the main screen and they're ready to check in for attendance. So when they're in the right location at the right time, if they tap, tap this green check-in button, they'll see a selection of check-in events pop up. You may have more than one or other people may have other check-in events, but in this case, if they select my check-in and tap go, the app will make sure they're in the right location at the right time. And if everything seems okay, they'll get a screen that looks like this, confirming that they've checked in successfully. Notice as you use the app, that it does not ask your participants for any personal information past their name, nor does it show any ads or have any in-app purchases. It's a very simple app used only for checking in. Back on your end on the YouHero website, you'll see your attendance roster forming and your check-in numbers changing as your participants check in. And that's it. Please contact us if you have any questions. We'd really love to see you using you here for your attendance needs. Thanks for watching.